welcome to the first episode of Wake Physics. So today I want to introduce uh, the concept of a racing car and in particular what it takes to build a race car. So the M235IR is a ready to run race car from BMW. They're not road legal, not certified for road use, but they are a really good entry level racing car. So what I want to do for this video is go through some of the upgrades they made, explain some of the science behind it and hopefully give you guys an understanding of the methods and ways of thinking that engineers employ to get from point A, the road car, to point B, the race car. So to start with, let's have a look at the standard road car, the M240i. It's a very capable car, it's faster than the majority of things on the road, but it's also got a lot of extra comforts that just aren't needed on a race car. So things like the big comfortable leather seats, the sound deadening, the CD player, the multimedia system, all those things just add weight and simply aren't needed on a race car. Looking at the powertrain, uh, all sorts of extra hardware to control emissions in the exhaust system, all that can get taken out for a race car and should certainly be on the list for anyone who wants to understand racing technology a bit further. So firstly we need to discuss the idea of what BMW engineers are trying to achieve when they build the race car, it's speed. So the first thing and the most obvious thing is to increase the engine power. Secondly, you can play with the vehicle dynamics. What I'd like to do with this episode is go through the four major parts of a car, which is the powertrain, the chassis, the interior of the car, and the body. So firstly, let's look at the powertrain. The stock car is 326 horsepower and uh, 450 newton meters of torque whereas the racing is 333 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque. This car is supposed to be an entry level race car so all they've done is they've added a free flowing exhaust and pretty much left it there. But moving on to the chassis, that's where the majority of the work's been. So when talking about chassis, what we're mainly talking about here is suspension and brakes. So you've got a KW kit in this car, it's three-way adjustable. And what that means is that you get a lot of control over how the wheel and body reacts to inputs from the road and to the center of gravity in cornering. So you've got low speed compression and rebound damping, which is mainly focused around body control. And then you've got high speed compression and rebound damping, which is more concerned with how the wheel reacts to bumps and curves, whatever other imperfections in the track surface you get. And that's really what sets it apart from road cars and gives engineers a lot of freedom to really fine tune the handling characteristics of the car. Things like the balance, whether it's, uh, it goes into a natural oversteer or understeer at the limit of grip or it's a nice neutral and balanced car. All these things are able to be tweaked with damper settings. So that is a really essential contribution to any race car. But moving to the brakes, we're talking about a bigger brake disc. You have increased thermal mass, increased surface area for braking, and also an increase in the capacity of the internal cooling planes. Lastly, one of the most significant changes to the chassis is in the tyres. They are effectively a softer compound, which gives you uh, increased cornering stiffness, increased capacity to generate the lateral grip, and a solid platform for the rest of the chassis to generate performance. Moving on to the body, there's not a great deal of change there. You've got a wider track, wider arches, and what that does is reduce the weight transfer that the car will experience during cornering. There's not many aerodynamic modifications, so BMW kept it simple there. The interior is where there's been quite a lot of work on it too. So they've removed carpet, leather seats, sound insulation, and VH foam, put in a roll cage, which increases the torsional stiffness of the chassis and helps reduce um, some of the warping points, which are undesirable from the vehicle dynamics point of view. So to recap, in preparation of a race car, the main focus on all the upgrades that are made are to increase the vehicle dynamics. The dampers, the tyres, the lightening of the chassis, the stiffening of the chassis, all that will provide a quicker lap time, which is desired. So in some of my future videos, I want to get into more detail on some of those topics, particularly vehicle dynamics, because that's something that I get quite passionate about. Um, but in summary, I hope this video provided you some basic background into the techniques of thinking that engineers employ. It's not just a case of throwing loads of shiny parts on it, there's method to it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want me to go into more detail about any of the concepts that I've explained, I'm more than happy to do that. If you have any ideas for other videos that you'd like me to lay something out a bit clearer, then this is what this channel is about. I want to communicate my knowledge and my understanding to you. As you will see from some of the footage behind you, I originally wanted to do some of this talking next to the car but trying to learn how to use a camera, trying to learn how to edit, edit 
we didn't have an external microphone so it was all a bit of a shambles but I hope I managed to pull together something coherent and something that passes on a bit of knowledge. Enjoy.